It's time, it's time, it's time for Ask Adam. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Adam and I love questions. I love asking questions. I love answering questions. I love everything to do with questions. Today's question comes from siblings, Brayden and Riley, who live in San Carlos, California. San Carlos is in the Bay Area, which is the part of California where I was born. I still have lots of friends and family who live there. A fun fact about San Carlos is that Barry Bonds, a very famous baseball player, is from there. Now, back to Brayden and Riley's question. The siblings ask, where does the moon go during the day? Ooh, the moon! You know, the big, bright, beautiful thing that lights up the night sky? Well, way up in space with the moon, we also have something called the solar system. Say it with me, the solar system. The solar system is made up of lots of planets, but I don't know all of the names of them off the top of my head. Hmm. Seems like I need one of my magic adventure hats to help me out. Which of my magic adventure hats should I wear to answer Brayden and Riley's question? My solar system hat? My fishing hat? Or my pilot's hat? Hmm. My solar system hat. Very good. Now, to answer the question, where does the moon go during the day? I think we need to transport ourselves to space. But I need your help. In order to transport us to space, we have to say the magical phrase, cuckoo bananas, three times. Say it with me. Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas. Whoa! Oh, you did it. We made it. And welcome to space. With my magic solar system hat on, I can tell you all about space and our solar system. There are so many cool things to look at here in space. Like, oh, look over there, a shooting star. <gasps> and there, a meteor. Ooh, and over there, it's one of the planets in our solar system. Speaking of, now that I have my magic adventure hat on, I can tell you all about the planets in our solar system. There are eight of them. We have Earth, Jupiter, Mars, Neptune, Saturn, Mercury, Uranus, and Venus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight planets. Which planet do we live on? Earth. Very nice. The Earth is constantly spinning around and around. Can you spin? Try it with me. <laughs> my head is staying at the top and my feet are staying at the bottom, but my whole body is spinning. That's exactly what's happening with the Earth. This is what is happening with the Earth. It spins and spins, but the top of the Earth, the North Pole, stays at the top, and the bottom of the Earth, the South Pole, stays at the bottom. It takes one whole day for the Earth to go in a full circle. As you can see here, we have our sun. It's super, super bright, but it only covers half of the Earth with light. So, when the sun is shining, it is daytime on this side of the Earth. Where the sun is not shining is nighttime on this side of the Earth. Because it takes one whole day for the Earth to spin all the way around, we get to experience both daytime and nighttime every single day. But just imagine, if the Earth didn't spin and you lived on the side that faced the sun, it would be daytime all the time it'd be really hard to sleep. Or if you lived on the side that faced away from the sun, it'd be nighttime all the time, and you'd have to spend a lot of money on electricity. Now that we know what the Earth and sun are up to, let's talk about the moon. Well, the moon is in orbit. That's a big word. Say it with me, orbit. Orbiting means that the moon follows a path like this around and around the Earth. It 
takes the moon one whole month to orbit all the way around the Earth. So, if we know that it takes the Earth one whole day to spin all the way around, and we know that it takes the moon one whole month to orbit all the way around, then answering Braden and Riley's question becomes clear. During your day, the moon is busy orbiting around the Earth, so it disappears from view, oftentimes during the day but it becomes visible for people living in different parts of the Earth, oftentimes at night. But don't worry, the moon will always come back because the Earth spins all the way around once every day. Well, we did it! We answered Brayden and Riley's question and got to explore space. Now we can go back home. To transport me back home, we have to say the magical phrase, cuckoo bananas, three times. Say it with me. Cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas, cuckoo bananas. Whoa! Oh, oh, we did it. We answered Brayden and Riley's question, where does the moon go during the day? And also learned all about our solar system. To recap, do you remember how many planets are in our solar system? Eight, very nice. Do you also remember how long it takes for the Earth to rotate once all the way around? One day! Very good! And lastly, how long does it take for the Moon to orbit once all the way around the Earth? One month! Awesome job! Well, what an amazing day filled with exploration and space. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to our next adventure real soon. Bye-bye for now. Oh, you're still here. Well, since I still have your attention, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button down below. Also, use the links in the description to follow us on social media. And lastly, go to askadam.tv to submit your question, and maybe we'll answer it on a future episode. Thanks so much. Bye-bye for now.